Bing. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the Chaos Metric Model Meeting. And Elizabeth, could you turn on transcriptions really fast? They are. Oh, they are. Okay, I just, I don't see them. I don't know why sometimes I see them and sometimes I don't. It's weird. I think it hides them if you're the host or something. I don't know. Okay. Um, so, you know, I think today the hope is, is that we can start to put some closure on a few of the metrics models that we have, um, just so we can kind of move these out and then start um, kind of focusing on a new set. So I'd like to, maybe I'll start, I'll skip this first one uh, at the beginning and start with the ones uh, that Gary has put together. So Gary, good to have you here. And thanks for putting in these PRs. Sure. Um, so we have these, I think I'd like to take a, a look at a few of these PRs and get these merged today if we could. So um, Gary, I know you've done this a few times, but could you give like a one minute overview as to kind of, or two minutes, whatever. <laughs> yeah, sure. So for you as to what these are. Sure. So viability um, is a super model or mega model or whatever the, the upgrade of just a model metrics model is supposed to be where um, it was big enough that it felt wrong to have 20 something metrics in the same model. And instead, I found buckets for them that are consistent with the to do groups idea of what OSPOs should focus on namely community, compliance and security, governance and strategy. And the relevant metrics are uh, collected in each one of those buckets. So community is what kind of um, participation does a particular project have in a community? What kind of participation does the community have within the project? Are there people contributing and do they contribute back? Do they keep up to date with their dependencies? Things like that. Um, and uh, similar logic follows for the rest of them. Uh, full details are in those Google Docs that are also linked in the in the meeting notes. I felt it. I can take what we wrote in the Google Doc. I mean, yeah, that's that's what I'll say. That's my one minute summary. Thank you. Um, quick question: Were any of the metric models did they contain metrics that need to be developed? No. That okay. I purposely used existing metrics. I would love to expand them because I have more ideas, but I feel like that's that's um, that's boiling the ocean. Okay. Um, great. Do I know we've talked about these for a while and I know Gary, you've taken feedback on these yeah. over time from a variety of groups. What are questions that people might have for Gary before I think we merge these in? Uh, question, uh, does sure. all the viability uh, models, <clears throat> I could call it the foundation models, right? Just like a l large language model, right? Uh, and uh, okay. this whole thing is, is described as like the strategy things in, in the community, right? Because all the things is uh, kind of in the high level of the community. I'm sorry, could you uh, ask me that question again? Uh, I mean, it's it's not a lot involved into the uh, uh, collaboration development uh, happened. Those actions happened in the in the community, but uh, we put it uh, at a high level uh, view to see the community or to observe the community things like strategy, like governance. So you you use a general the words like wearability to 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 describe the whole things. Yep. So I think I think it's more of a comment, Gary. Just kind of like how, oh, okay. we're, yeah, how we're kind of looking at the models. Um, you who he was? Yeah, there. it's it's absolutely a high level um, view. It's not. It's um, something that I intend to use in practice and be able to share what we find uh, in how we can gauge and like structure what that sliding scale should look like. But uh, it, it, I feel like that comment is leading into how you can use these practically. Um, not just for the purpose of looking at them and saying, ah, yes, what a nice strategy this project has. Um, ideally, this use case for viability is centered around a user of open source projects, whether or not this particular project is viable for my business needs or my project's needs um, is the focus of why we care about these. And so each of these like um, 
buckets of strategy is a really good one of like, we care about the strategy of the project in whether or not it would compromise the integrity of building a project within Verizon, because we are Verizon and we're trying to build things that are consistent with Verizon's strategy. Uh, I would say it's the same thing for anybody who's starting a project. Uh, there's a little bit of adjustment that happens from looking at these uh, metrics to make a decision of whether or not it works for you. Um, in isolation, they are not as useful. So I do have a question then, Elizabeth, this is kind of for you. This is more like just a presentation question. So right now, like on our metrics page, we list individual metrics and we list individual metric models. You know what I mean? And this is like the, the mega metric model. And I'm I'm wondering how we might, and, and Yuhui has one too, right? <laughs> so as we talk about like, as we talk about developer, developer model. So mm -hmm. I think we have to think about how we present these. Do you have thoughts on that at all? Uh, I mean, considering that we do have another and we may have more in the future, yeah. I feel like we could add an, no, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we can connect them with a tag and then maybe have a, like a page that has those listed that are connected. I don't know. Okay. I just didn't want to be like metrics and metrics models and mega metrics models. <laughs> what I mean? Like, and then uh, super duper mega metrics models. <laughs> Gary has his hand up though. So hopefully he has hey, a Gary. better idea than, than I do. Yeah. I think um, if you open the metrics models page there, uh, it feels like there's these uh, relatively uncategorized ones where these are like the standalone metrics models. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's like a heading of like, here's the standalone metrics models. They all work by themselves. And then here's the ones that relate to viability. And then here's the ones that relate to developer personas. And then here's like, just literally like a small header, I think would be enough to create that separation. Do you think we should? So honestly, this is like down to the details, but like metric model colon community colon viability metric uh, I, i'm comfortable with uh oh yeah i see what you're saying um metrics model or viability in parentheses or hmm. just like so, straight representation. Yeah. we we can put so if you if you go back and you know that there are those tiles i'm pretty sure we can put tiles maybe i shouldn't speak before i know but we might be able to put tiles here so we could do um a tile for metrics models and a tile for um whatever we want to call them mega metrics models yeah, I always like if you click in that, what i'm what i'm saying is if you go into click all all metrics models click on that okay like i think we can have tiles on this page maybe hmm. which would be like metrics models and then mega i don't know <laughs> there's this cartoon that has mega mind like <laughs> <laughs> and i just i can't like unsee mega mind when i hear <laughs> mega metrics models <laughs> i think that's a despicable me movie if i'm not mistaken but anyway. <laughs> yeah i think so <laughs> I mean, the other option is to just list list each one of those individually with the word viability in front yeah. of it, yeah. and then That's what I think. in that in that one, maybe have a statement that says there are other models that relate to this or something like that. Yeah, like if it said viability metrics model community, and mm -hmm. then developer persona metrics model, you know, I like that. So it would say viability metrics model colon community, yeah. whichever strategy. One. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I like that. Okay. Then at I least if people came here, they would see they all kind of go mm -hmm. together. I don't know. Yeah, I think that then, works better. Do you think we should, for for example, like safety here, would we just leave it as metrics model colon safety? I think that's fine. Okay. Because, because I think that's like the least clumsy way to have them, first of all, since it's alphabetical, um, they would be grouped by default, right? Like if you did viability metrics model, it would all come at the end. And if yep. you did developer metrics model, it would all come at the start, so. 
Okay. Okay. I like that. So Elizabeth, does that work for you? I think that yeah, it totally does. And I think to Gary's point, these are right now in no order at all, except for, I think, uh, as they're added, new ones come, mm -hmm. they just go on the bottom, which isn't maybe the greatest way to present these anyway. So I think we could actually re resort them and list them alphabetically. So I'll look into how to do that. Surely there's a way. Okay. Uh, okay, great. Uh, any other comments on these? I think it's five, but uh, I have another and actually not comments because all these uh, matrix models that uh, the, the that include the metrics already exist as as Gary mentioned. Uh, is it possible to to verify it uh, through the OS, OSS compass? So why is it impossible to verify them? Uh, I mean, <clears throat> if we uh, check the uh, uh, matrix details in each of the single matrix model, except for compliance and security, uh, for for the rest of the other um, matrix model, I think most of them has already uh, supported by, by Compass. So we can use Compass Lab to to do some verifications to see how it works. Oh, so you're yeah. I mean, that, so so you think it, they can be verified? That would be great. Yeah. Yep. Cool. So Gary, are you? Did you catch that? So we have OSS Compass, mm -hmm. and um, OSS Compass is a tool that a uh, whole bunch of folks have been working on. You know, the software as a solution. Right. Tool. And um, they're really focusing on the deployment of metrics and metrics models, like in practice, you know, using the data that they have to actually represent chaos metrics and metrics models. And so what Yahui is referring to is an ability to actually put these into practice, like right now, and and kind of see if they have, you know, pain points associated with them, if there's like unforeseen complexities that may come from trying to deploy them, um, that would provide nice feedback for the models in practice. Awesome. Yeah, right. It's exactly, that's, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. If some of the metrics haven't been uh, implemented uh, in, in Compass, you can, can contact with us or contact me. Uh, I can, I can arrange uh, task uh, on that. Okay, so then, um, okay, so maybe AI. Elizabeth, I'm just put. can you move? I actually don't think I'm a maintainer on this repo. I think. Uh... There. <laughs> there you go, perfect. And then, um... Yahui, do you want like Gary or myself to try to deploy the models via Compass Lab? Uh, actually, you can do it by yourself. It, it's a, uh, it's all about uh, can can do. Uh, everyone here have access to that. Okay. Thanks for taking that, Matt. I still have a blog post to. Finish I'm kind of, I've never done it either. I'm kind of curious as to how it works, you know, like the whole process. So I'm kind of curious to find out. And then um, if Yuhui, if there are missing metrics. Uh, you can contact me. I, 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 can, I can arrange developers help us to implement it. You want me to contact you like via DM or do you want me to post an issue in Compass? Uh, not really, just contact me through the Slack. Okay. okay. Good. All right. Uh, any other questions on this topic? 
cool. Uh, great. Okay, why don't we go back up? And thank you, thanks Gary for doing that. And then sure. th thanks you, Hui, for kind of having Compass be a recipient of these metrics models and <laughs> to see them in practice. That would be can cool. I, Matt, can yeah. you do me a quick favor? When you, as soon as you have those merged, can you just open an issue in that uh, repo and just tag me that these are ready to go on the website? And I'll put them on the website. Just add that. Thank you. Yep. Okay, great. And then Gary, do you need a hand at all with the blog post? Not that wasn't like a backhanded like. <laughs> No, no, no. Done. <laughs> but no, that's okay. Because clearly um, you can't do it yourself. Do you need help? <laughs> I know. I'm just such a bad writer. I write about 15 <laughs> words a day. Um, I I went to um so here's the thing. I'll I'll give you the excruciating detail. Uh I went and much like the original metrics model, wrote a blog post about this, and it wound up being eight and a half pages. And so then my leadership was like, hey that feels like it's enough content for more than one blog post. And I'm like, that's a good point. So I <laughs> will have like the introduction of like, what is the viability metrics model? Why does it matter? Why did we create it? And what are we going to do for it? And then the excruciating detail, uh, here's every single metric in, in all of the models and here's how they kind of fit together. And then there's a conclusion, like how does that wrap together and how do we plan on using it? And what's the compatibility with Augur and uh, Grimoire and I, I, uh, OSS Compass can fit in there now. Um, yeah. Okay. So it's taking a while because I had to restructure it. And then, um, you know, you know how work is. Sometimes a thing comes up and I'm like, oh, I can't do the fun thing. I have to do the vegetables for now. The actual work thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And Harry, to be fair, you you actually couldn't we couldn't publish this until the metrics models were published on the website anyway. So mm -hmm. yeah, no rush. And I'm also thinking too, once the, that series is published, we should link that series in all those metrics models, just for like more context for people. So that we'll makes sense. Do a, yeah, a cross linking of everything. So would that be like another PR you'd want me to put in here? Um, no, I can do that. Um, I don't, if I remember, <laughs> I'm wondering okay. how I remember to do that, but maybe I'll, I'll, open I'll, I'll try to remember to remind you in case you don't remember to remind yourself. Okay. That's perfect. <laughs> I, I will like probably it, forget. It'll get yes. done. <laughs> and then I am thinking too, if I can, if I get these into Compass Lab, we could probably inc include that in the blog post as well. Yeah. Like here's a live. Yeah. Live that'd be great. Look at this. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you, everybody. I think I know what's happening with all that. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Uh, so let's um so do you wanna do you have any update here, Yuhui? Do you want to spend any time at all on the developer persona work? Uh for, for this three or four doc documentations, I haven't added anything on those update, anything on that, but uh, I'm already write another blog post. Uh, for the for the uh, developer role profile models and the milestone models. So so finally, just like uh, Gary, Gary mentioned, I I also write like a eight page blog post for all of those mm -hmm. metrics models. So I divided it into two part. So uh, maybe uh, next week I I can post it uh, to all of you to 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 help me to check on that. Yeah. Are there, so like, as I look at this as a metric model, are there areas where you're, where you would like some? Uh, actually, I'm, um, except for this uh, theory part I created here, uh, in Compass, we also doing the engineering work on that. So maybe by the end of this month, we will release uh, some features to support all those metrics models, which can be used directly on Compass. Okay. So for for example, I mean that sounds great. I, I like the parallel work um, for the for for this one, the contributor role persona model. Mm -hmm. Would you like some feedback 
like here on, on user sure. stories. Do you mind if I give these a read and just put Yeah, yeah, on? please, please do so. Okay. Yeah. Um, are there, is there one, are they all in about the same state? It looks like they are. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I have to declare okay. that I, I, I do do something because after I return back from eight days vacation. I know you've been uh, on vacation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, and uh, it, there are some topics after the, those metrics models uh, I added about um, uh, Open OLA. Open OLA basic introductions would mm -hmm. uh, be presented by June for in the in past several days. June have prepared these introductions together with me. And today she would like to to make a, a, a simple presentation. And okay. after that, uh, she will share the slides to all of us in the through the Slack channel and also continue the discussion because Dawn and Shane are not here, but that's okay, I think. Okay. Um, so, so June would like to make that presentation today in this yeah. meeting, no problem. Um, before we do that, just one quick thing, as, as you're developing, as I understood you, you're working with folks in Compass to kind of build these metrics, to build support for these metric models. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Could you, or maybe could I open an issue in Compass to kind of point the developers to these documents so that they could add the metrics that they're using? Of course. Of course. Okay. Because it would be nice if the developers themselves, because right now I think they all say contributors yeah. as the metrics in the model. And I'm suspecting there's more than that. Maybe could you look for that issue too and maybe tag the developers because I don't know who they are. Yeah, you can't just add me. Okay. Mm. Thanks. Okay. Um, great. It sounds like those are just kind of moving forward. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Um, okay. Well, then it sounds like, is this it? Is this the point? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Actually, I I yeah. would like to update uh, the the last two topic. Uh, Compass as hosted by Chaos in the US and or EU. That topic. Oh. The, I also have some progress to share with you guys. Okay. Uh, and uh, about we have already deploy um um finished the deployment guide, uh for Compass. So currently, um we are verifying uh, these documentations. So which means um, anyone who follow this guide could deploy Compass independently. So we are checking uh, if there are some barriers in these documentations. Okay. This work is still ongoing, but I think uh, it should be done uh, uh, late this week. Okay, that's great. Is there a link about the guide? Uh, currently, currently it's still private uh, repository in Compass GitHub, but uh, but after we verify it, uh, we will public to these documentations. Okay. That's cool. So just just so people know, we're looking at deploying an an instance of Compass. Yeah. Yeah. How to prepare the infrastructure? How to implement different different kind of applications like database, like any other uh, services, mm -hmm. and the step by step. And we're looking to deploy this in either the U.S. or Europe, as it is currently deployed. I think the current instance is deployed in China, and so we would just have kind of a more uh, having Compass accessible <laughs> under the many different geopolitical yep. conditions um, for a lot of people across the world. That's, I guess, how I'll present it. Um, I did, I 
thought I had a question here, but maybe I do not. Okay, anyway. Okay, so so thanks for that. If um, I think that'll be great. Does anybody have a question kind of what we're what we're doing here? So oh I know what my question was. What would we what what would be the URL for this? Uh for what? For this documentations, right? No, for that so would we would we maintain a deployment of compass like OSS compass dot is it dot org or dot com, which is the the hosted version in China. And then if we deployed a version of this in the US or EU, what would be the URL? Uh, I think we can use uh, more independently URL uh, di differentiate with a compass. Okay. Or we can use, you know, compass dot, uh, sorry, chaos dot compass. But I don't think Chaos belong to Compass or Compass belong to Chaos. That's not true. So, what what if we have something like uh, um, so Compass is kind of the brand, but maybe we can use something like Metrics Models or kind of dot Chaos dot Community, so some subdomain of Chaos. Hmm. And I I don't know if with Ogre we have something similar, but in in Grimoire Lab we have the Chaos instance of, with the Grimoire Lab. Uh, the Grimoire Lab instance of Chaos Metrics as well. So we, we can migrate things there. So then we have services under, not services, but you know, data. Does it make sense? So what do you think, Yehui? I, yeah, I think so. I, I do remember we don't we donate a, 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 a URL or do, domain to, to Chaos to share that uh, it's called uh, chaos.org. Do you remember that? We do. We actually do own chaos.org. Yeah. I don't know what he's doing with it. <laughs> so the so Daniel, your thought with this was to just kind of say this is these are the models that are presented by chaos so what, powered by compass. Yeah, so what, what is the purpose? If this is like a, a demo of the different technologies, including OSS Compass, uh, then probably it makes sense to have like an official demo place for or OSS Compass, Grimoire Lab. If this is as a service provided by Chaos for the community, but hosted by Chaos or under the umbrella of Chaos, yeah, then I would say that makes sense to have this as, as a subdomain um, of Chaos as well. So I know. That depends on on what what's what's the goal of this. It it's it is to it is the chaos community kind of trying to highlight the work and provide the service as you were pointing out or as you were saying of Compass, which is an independent community. You know what I mean. And so we're trying to make this as as widely available as as possible. Um, and I think it's recognizing the work in the deployment of the metrics and the metrics models to be made available. So I think you're you're right. You know, the, a service. The only, perhaps the only concern I would have is if yeah. Chaos is hosting this, and then we grow at the level of OSS Compass nowadays. That has a cost in in maintenance and basically infra. So yeah, so we so just to that to that point, um, kind of the the way that um, we have worked with um, like grant funders to support things like, uh, you know, the community manager role or uh, Don's role as director of data science, it would be the same here. So we're trying to, we're, we're thinking about that cost as well um, to provide infra infrastructure support as well as personnel support that would actually maintain this service. So that's something that, that kind of like Sean and I would provide. Yeah, so then, then the next question is to Yahui, when can we have OSS Compass source code in chaos? <laughs> this is a, this was an older question, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would be the next step. Yeah, we actually we have discussed it a little bit. Uh, currently, it's uh, not that uh, convenient to to contribute the code to to the chaos, 
But uh, as I mentioned earlier, we would like to provide fully support to deploy Compass service to 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 chaos in, in any other locations like in EU or US. And uh, and uh, considering the do domain name, I I think uh, uh, it's not that. Um, uh, uh, I, I'm 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 okay for the first name and also, uh, Compass, uh, is not needed to be deployed. Uh, you mean I mean the show on the on the on the domain name. I think, uh, Compass, uh, it just provide a support on this service. But I believe, uh, in the future, this service should uh, should uh, totally belong to Chaos and. Uh, and uh, chaos just played uh, as uh, a component of this service, and maybe in the future, like uh, Augur and uh, Grimlib could provide more features into this service. So it's not totally only depend on the compass. So I would like to make it independent. But... Okay. Um... Why don't we, we have, you know, whatever, 15 minutes. Uh, this is a great conversation. So thank you. It sounds like we're at least sort of leaning here at the moment, but you can all think about it and we could, you know what I mean? Like we just presented this today. So it's not like we have to make an official decision today. So think about, think about this and we can bring it up next time as well. Um, June, do you want to, did you want to present something today or? Okay. Mm. I can make you co-host. You good? Okay. Let me share my screen. Okay. Yep. That's me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh-huh. Where's my okay? Can can you see this? You can see uh -huh. I can see me. <laughs> can I I see a lot of mud, right? That is so much me. <laughs> How about you where you share your screen? Help 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 us, help me. Uh, sure. I would like to. Can you see that dog? Maybe you can send me one second. I will send you. Okay. You can. Search Google Doc. Yeah. And on top of the doc is that doc. Yeah, I open that. I can okay. show my screen. Okay, thank you. Do you sh I'm sharing. Yep, I see it. Uh, I, but I don't think it's. Um... Let's start. You can go home and. This is a very basic interaction. Yeah. Sorry, for this. I see. Second one, yeah. Yeah, 
this one. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. Okay, for the <clears throat> for this, we would just want to share uh, how uh, share. How... Oh, did I lose June? When you want project, uh, you can say uh, we will introduce the Open Unit Project uh, overview. And uh, uh, we want to know how how the Open Unit project, how the Open Unit community <clears throat> look like. And uh, so we use the chaos uh, chaos metric uh, about chaos. Uh, A single metric such as uh, uh, how many repository is I think we have some network problem yeah in open owner hold on and um, because the open owner I'm not you, hearing we, all the time. we cannot catch up with you Maybe your network is not that good. Jun, can you hear me? I hear you. That's bad. Uh, we, we cannot hear you, Jun. And uh, now you, you cannot yeah. hear me? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we hear you, sometimes we don't. Yeah. Okay, or well, maybe. Maybe you could help, uh, uh, help me sure, to introduce sure. I can, I can go. I can quickly go through the whole slides. And mm. because we just have nine minutes left, uh, if we couldn't finish yeah. that, we, we can do it in the, in the next meeting. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway, this, this meeting, we will try to finish within nine minutes. Yeah, the whole thing is just a bit to show that um, how to use chaos metrics and metrics model to 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 evaluate the whole uh, open rulers uh, health uh, 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 analytics. So here you can see uh, this is the uh, overview. Uh, um, how many contributors, repositories, six, and the users and, and vendors we have in, in the communities. And the, the, in the next uh, uh, slides, we show in how many uh, uh, don donors we have in this community. And uh, each of single uh, page also linked with a, uh, with a URL. And this is our governance structure to show uh, how to govern the whole uh, communities. And in the next uh, slides, uh, actually we are using chaos community, uh, we are using chaos activity, this metrics model to manage over uh, 100 Metric, uh, six uh, special interesting groups uh, in the in, in the open ruler communities. So you can see the score from zero to one, and uh, following the colors, different areas. And uh, uh, the first page is about uh, uh, it's about uh, a software artifact related uh, uh, six, and uh, in the next page is showing the, the governance six. We have some like dog six, uh, some sick migration six, uh, and uh, uh, like this technical committee six. Uh, no, this repos also uh, played at sick. And this is the sick details. Um, I think this uh, page are quite simple. Maybe we can go through the open rulers. Community page. Yeah, here we go. So if we check our uh, organization structures, uh, actually, uh, this that's similar like uh, our chaos um, 
governance structures uh, in the uh, this so-called community it's called it's related board uh, governance board or governance committee and this we have technical committees there are all kinds of uh, com composed of the different peoples uh, peoples from different organizations and uh, we have different members like donors uh, strategic donors, primary, uh, platinum donors, gold donors, many different organizations. And uh, uh, of course, we have our COC. If we come back to uh, the statistics. Actually, we are using this page to oversee the whole uh, uh, situations or communities uh, pro pro progress happened in, in these communities. So in the first page, we will see how many act active users, contributors, and organizers, organization members uh, exist in this community, uh, how many pull requests, uh, issues, comments, six, and repository we, we have. This is the accumulation uh, statistics. So if we scroll down, we can see the contribution by the different organizations. Uh, you can use the version statistics to say each, because Open Open Ruler is a, it's a operating system, operating distribution system. So we have different kind of versions. So for each of single version, we can see how many organizations or independent developers have contributed to these communities. And um, this is top 10 contributors, uh, including the individuals and, and the different organizations. And uh, if we show that all, uh, this is for one community, uh, for one version. And um, if we, a scroll turn off this button. We will uh, see the overall situations because not all the pull requests or, or issues created for the specific uh, versions. You can see we have a lot of the independence or individuals contributors to, to, to add comments or issues. And uh, uh, yeah, this this is the uh, calculations or, or statistics about um, individuals' statistics. We measure it from the pull request, issues, comments. You can say it's the last month situations, last six months, last year, or all the situations we have. And if we scroll, uh, continue scroll down, we can see the, the overall SIG activity overview, like I mentioned, the so-called activity is matrix model used uh, uh, by, uh, f from, from chaos. So we have different te technical areas. The big areas, this is level one. In each of first level, we have different second level. And you can see we have a bunch of six. Um, all in all, it's almost 106. Uh, and uh, if I type, uh, go to a specific SIG, we can see the uh, detailed situations happened in different SIGs. Uh, for example, here, um, we have the, the detailed uh, situations here. This is the issue and the comments. So generally, uh, Open Ruler use this um, dashboard to commute to to manage the the different uh, six exists in their communities to say how many contributors, uh, what kind of contributions made by those developers, and they use this to make a award for the people who made a, a great contributions, no matter individual person or, or, or as an organizations. You can click only one people. Click. Oh, this yeah. One? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is the person. Yeah. And you can 
and click on the com comment. Ah, okay. Uh, um, uh, but on the next comment. Yeah, yeah, yes. Next. Oh, you mean the poor? Uh, this Sick. one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We have. We also separate uh, the general commit or or. Order comment. It will uh, improve this comment. Uh huh. So as as we is there um. I guess is there a, a an ask? Like yeah, that, that you're. Is this what's going to be presented at, in December? Is this, you know, uh, the... actually no. I I what I mean is that just give you what kind of metrics and the metrics model uh, used uh, used in communities opens. Uh, I mean the in the open rule. but we uh, in this instruction we just give you the general ideas uh, about whole things. But um, uh, in the in the uh, final uh, insight report present in, in the December, I think we can um, stand from the chaos perspective to give a general uh, overview of our metrics, uh, our metrics model insights gotcha. report on that. So. I guess maybe one last thing, and we can continue this conversation async to Yuhui, but is what you were showing to, you know, how we want to do a case study with Open Euler, Open Euler? Is uh, this what you were showing, is this tied to that at all? I think in the last meeting, uh, what I mentioned is that uh, in, in the conversation between Chaos and, over, uh, and uh, Open Rula, yeah, and we we achieved some agreement. Our uh, first agreement uh, is that uh, uh, Open Aura would invite people from from our chaos yep. to join the meeting happened in December, and provide a keynote, and content in this keynote would uh, is related about uh, Open Aura uh, chaos evaluation report based on the chaos metrics and metrics model. So today's purpose is that to give you guys a general uh, introductions about uh, open rulers communities, okay. general uh, situations. Yeah. Gotcha. So the, and I know Sean is going to come, I think in December. Uh, yeah, I think so. And Daniel would also uh, join with us. You're going to Beijing, Daniel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so the re the report is that are you hoping to have that done before December? Uh, I think so because we will present it. I just want to make sure. I just I'm just trying to get the timing done. Okay. Hmm. Um, I think we should probably begin this conversation as to what that report would look like. Maybe we could start this asynchronously. Yeah. Today. As, yeah. as we discussed uh, uh, before uh, in the last meeting, actually, uh, we think first we should uh, give give you guys, uh, I mean, sure. uh, a general introduction. But I think today's introduction is quite simple. And uh, in the next few days, Jun and I would give you a detailed introductions through the Slack on the okay. metrics model channels. Yes. And also we can discuss detailed uh, uh, structure of the, this inside report yep. and how to get this data, how to handle this data and how to use uh, what kind of metrics and metrics model we use uh, okay. in this report. Yeah. Okay, let's let's continue this on Slack because I think the time is now. Yeah, with, I know. Yeah, with two months away, it'd be good. Okay, uh, we're three minutes over everybody. Thank you for sticking around a little bit extra. It's good to see everybody and thanks for everybody's Thank feedback. You. It's really good. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye, everybody.